Hey y'all, how you doing? Hestia's Helper here, and we have a box. Um, y'all are gonna have to excuse my hair. I, uh, <clears throat> I went and I did some flotation therapy today. And, um, for those of you that don't know what flotation therapy is, it's a huge tub that is heated to, <coughs> pardon me, it's heated to, <coughs> your body temperature and it has a thousand pounds of Epsom salt in it and I'm trying to get y'all I don't know if that's level one anyway and then you can soak for 30 minutes to an hour some places I've seen well they'll let you like stay overnight in the tub I can't even imagine oh that would be glorious but uh it is amazing um a thousand pounds of epsom salt i feel great i feel great highly recommend it if you uh look around in your area most places usually have like a first time special the place that i went to today it was buy one session get one free so i paid today and i have another session uh whenever i want to use for free but let's get into the midnight muses box i was getting kind of worried because i saw where stacy had posted hers like early last week but it came today and she fit y'all this is a little bit bigger than what she normally is And on top looks like that. I'm going to cover. It says down the rabbit hole, smoke and soil. Ooh, huh? That is uh, delightfully creepy. And again, we get two prints. <clears throat> I love this one. Very uh, Victorian-esque. Reminds me. I, I love Gothic Victorian. And then we have a tarot card from this deck, whatever it is. And it is the Emperor. Organizational skills, reliability, and the ability to work hard, upright, respect, leadership, stability, structure, rules, and power, authority, father figure, protection, control, discipline, focus, practicality, reverse domineering, controlling, lack of discipline, rigid, stubborn, tyrant, and recklessness. It is the fire element and corresponding sign is Aries. And it is a yes card for yes or no answers. Okay. Then we have some skull wax melts that, oh yeah, we can. <laughs> that, oh, mm. kind of florally. Isn't it cute? Ah! Um, a melt in a wax burner. Okay, so they're Palo Santo scented. I pick up more floral than that sweet woody, woody smell. And then we have a packet of birch wood, nice big fat packet called the White Lady of the Woods. Birch is a tree of great strength and beauty. As one of the first plants to sprout new leaves in the spring, birch has long been associated with renewal. Birch is extremely important in Celtic European 
and Native American folklore. Birch is associated with fertility and purification. It brings an abundance of potent positive energy to magic. Invoke the birch spirit for an auspicious start to new ventures. Meditate on birch for resilience during hardship. Incorporate birch into charms for protection, wisdom, and fertility. Sprinkle a pinch on top of the skull wax melts to encourage these magical properties. Do not consume. <clears throat> then we have some Palo Santo incense sticks. Some big old chunky boys. See, smells so different from the wax smell. This smells like Palo Santo. Looks like a stogie. <laughs> Love it. Um, the power to purify, attract positive energy, clear negative energy, and bring physical and spiritual healing. It is also said to help ground and center, uplift moods, and increase concentration. Then we have this little black bag with some pretty silver stars on it. I am peeking. I am peeking so hard right now because I see a big item and I'm trying to see how many other items to go around it. This is the tumbled black obsidian bracelet. Very, very tiny beads. Oh, but it kind of, it fits a little looser on my wrist than most beaded bracelets do. I like that. Very discreet, just very that's very comfortable. I, uh, I'm a big girl, so I got my wrists are a little thick, so sometimes the beaded bracelets fit a little snug, but, but that's a that's a good comfortable size. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna set you over there. <clears throat> I like how they did their tea bag this month. Elemental Earth Organic Tea. Uh, it is a green tea, though. I'm not fond of green teas. But look at that bag. Isn't that bag cool? I love that bag. It's got... Uh, it's literally just green tea. I think not too very long ago, because I haven't been getting this box for very long, uh, there was just a plain green tea. I'm going to say, Midnight Muses, you're going to have to step up your tea game. And then we have this little box. Oh, oh. And inside is a blue candle. And it does have a removable felt felt liner in here. This is the blue spell candle. Mm, also a little disappointed in the candle, but there is a huge big item. So uh, candles in general are used to amplify and release energy. Blue spell candles are often used for spells regarding tranquility, healing, inspiration, communication, peace, and truth. Burn at a quiet time in a candle holder when you can concentrate on your spell. When lighting, think or speak into your candle your intention. Dressing a candle is an act of anointing the candle with herbs. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Um, and then this is the incense holder slash storage it no additional information on that you just put it in there is it when you take that out it, it doesn't have a hole in the side to where you could like um stick it in there to burn it like a coffin burner it's just 
I guess just for storage. And I guess you could maybe definitely with the bigger incense, but with that, just stick it up like that. And your ashes would get everywhere. It's still a neat box. Okay, and then this is going to be our oil. So the first oil that I got was the Yule oil. And I use it dang near every day. And I am just now coming to the end of the bottle. How stinking cute. With the little skull. Is it a rollerball? It is. <laughs> Uh, the Smoke and Soil Oil. Shake gently before using. This oil was created by blending Palo Santo essential oil with notes of cassius, so cinnamon, cedarwood, and red amber. Ooh. I like that. It's very light and um, not really fresh, kind of earthy with a, some back notes of sweet in there. Um, Cassia, cedarwood, and red amber used to promote grounding and purifying before rituals and spell work. External use only. Always perform a skin test. Ba ba ba. Oh, there's, oh, those are our tea bags. Make sure there's nothing else in here. I don't think so. I think I've gone over. I needed all these little squigglies. I've got a package I need to get packed up. Okay. Last but not least. I know y'all already know what it is because everybody's watched Stacy's video. I do not know what it looks like though. So I am super excited. I have not watched any of the videos. <laughs> wow. So this is definitely more like my son's style. I'll probably end up giving it to him. But the skull ceramic mug. That's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. It is a beautiful shade of blue. It says, I'm so excited we were able to include this mug in this month's box. It's the perfect addition to your morning routine. Crafted from high quality porcelain ceramic, this mug is not only durable but also stylish. With its cobalt blue glaze finish, giving it a unique and edgy look. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Okay. So, and then we have a Bell or ritual for March. Um, I will say I'm not quite sure how the theme, like smoke, I get it because we've got this. Um, I guess the candle, if you're reaching, this to hold. Uh, Soil. But it, they start off with Osara is, <clears throat> is celebrated this March. It is known as the Spring Equinox, Lady Day, and Festival of Trees. This marks the time when the sun hits its zenith at the celestial equator. During this vernal equinox, we celebrate a perfect balance of light and dark, inner and outer, above and below. Astara is known as a time to plant the seeds of your intentions, celebrate rebirth, and renewed life forces. So that being said, there's a whole lot of death going on here. Which, I mean, I guess you can't have rebirth without death, but I, I feel like this would have been um, 
more appropriate as we were coming into the darker half of the year. I'm going to say my favorite thing. Arr, um, probably the herb and the oil. I've got some stuff that I need to work on that I can... I think birch wood will be good for. Uh, so my least favorite thing is going to be the tea, just because I'm not a green tea fan. Uh, that will go in my giveaway pile. I am working on one of those. Um, hmm. I don't know. And then I don't know if this little felt liner in the bottom of this is supposed to be removable or not. But I do kind of like... Let's see real quick. Will they all even fit in there? Because you're not going to be able to store regular incense in there because they are ooh, just barely maybe yeah just barely okay and then I'm not sure what else you could use that for after so this is kind of a, a very specialized specialized item um all right tell me below in the comments what you think what you thought of this month's box and uh stay tuned later this week because today in addition to oh, what i probably i didn't go suddenly gray it's from <laughs> i didn't wash the epsom salt out of my hair like when you get out you are literally crusted in salt um but when I do, uh, when I do the flotation therapies, I don't wash it out of my hair. I let it stay in there until I take a shower that night and just let it sit on my scalp. And uh, it does really good things for my scalp. I like it. But in the meantime, I've got all this white Epsom salt floating around my head. <laughs> uh what was I saying? Oh, I also went to a bin store. Today was $2 day at the bin store. And we'll talk about what I found there. Probably, I don't know, maybe Wednesday, Wednesday or so. We'll see. We'll see when I can get to that. Until then, remember, you are all the magic you need. Love y'all. Bye.